What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another top 5 list for you guys today. And today guys we are taking a look at top 5 Primal Fear Gatherers. Now for those of you that aren't aware, are unaware, this is for the Primal Fear mod. There are creatures that spawn in this mod that are different to the vanilla ones. And we're going over the 5 best gatherers in this mod. Now guys, we've tried our best to compile this list of various sort of dinos and stuff like that in various tiers because there are various tiers of dinos in this mod. So uh, bear with us if we make a mistake or slip up, I apologize. We have not managed to experiment with, experiment with every creature in the game, in the mod yet. I have done some experimenting and some maths with a lot of the creatures, but not all of them. So if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that, leave them down in the comments down below. Once again, this is just for you guys to help you out if you're playing the Primal Fear mod. Also, guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. It really helps out the channel. But other than that, guys, let's jump straight into it. Alrighty, guys, coming in at number five, we have the Fabled Anki. Now, the Fabled Anki is pretty is pretty much the highest tier of Anki you can get. And with this bad boy, you can actually harvest about 400 metal per swing. Now, his melee damage hasn't been upped at all. This is what his base melee damage was when we spawned him in. He was a 150 spawn, so he's got about 1100 melee damage, which is pretty damn gnarly. So you can see there, we are grabbing about 400 metal if we can actually hit the right rock. Okay, we're still not hitting the right rock. There we go, 400 metal just there. Boom, look at that, 400 metal there. As well as that, this guy is significantly faster than his standard variant, and you can also carry a crap ton more with this guy. Look at the weight on this big boy. 25,920. This guy is definitely not shy in the weight department and he is not afraid to flaunt it. This guy is absolutely great when it comes to harvesting metal. But by the time you end up getting one of these guys, you should have a pretty decent Anki already. So it's up to you whether or not you want to go about taming one of these guys. But they are well worth it if you can get the Fabled Kibbled for them and I would heavily recommend taming them up. Also, you can use these guys for berries if you want to, as well as seeds. Let's just come over to a bushy. There we go. You can see there he is also really good at gathering seeds and stuff like that as well. And you can also use his secondary attack to actually break stone and flint as well, which is really useful if you don't want to swing your tail. It makes things a lot quicker and um, I don't, I don't believe, I think it's about the same rate. So you're not really missing out if you use your uh, your bite attack or your tail swing. We haven't actually tested this out on metal. So let's just find a metal node real quick and we'll actually find out whether or not this affects how much metal he gathers as well. So with his bite, it looks like we actually get the same amount of metal as well, which is really good because it essentially means you can harvest while on the move. While using your tail swing attack, you obviously freeze in place and cannot go anywhere. So it's a lot better if you use the bite attack to actually harvest the metal. You'll see here, you can see there we got 500 metal. So it might actually even be better than you, well it is better because you're constantly moving while using it. So that enables you to move faster while gathering the metal. So yeah guys, number five is the Fabled Anki. These guys are incredible. Pretty much all Fabled creatures are top of the range. Like you can't get much higher in terms of gathering than your Fabled creatures. Yeah, you actually get quite a lot more metal. Or quite a bit more metal than you would by uh, using the tail. So yeah, definitely recommend using the secondary attack on your Anki if you've got one. But that's enough about the Anki, guys. Let's move on to number four. Now, guys, coming in at number four, we have the Fabled Fairy. As you can see, there's a little bit of a trend going on, pretty much because the Fabled creatures have a multiplier. Not a multiplier, but their stats are multiplied by a certain amount from the vanilla dinos. And you can see that the Fabled Fairy is an absolute machine. Grabbing about 3,000 fiber in one little grab, which is absolutely phenomenal. He grabs plenty of wood, plenty of thatch, and his berry gathering skills are also pretty damn gnarly. Look at this, look at him go. Look at him just shred through it. Now, as well as that, you can also use this guy to just demolish any single creature. I mean, not any single creature, but any creature you come across most of the time. And then you can use him to actually harvest the bloods and the hides, which is really good. But this guy, in my opinion, is the king of fiber gathering, the king of wood gathering as well. And if you get yourself a fairy, a fabled fairy, you'll pretty much be able to do anything a normal herbivore can do, except about 30 times better. So definitely worth investing in one of these big boys because yeah, they grab wood like crazy, they grab thatch like crazy, they grab fiber like crazy, and they can also deal a crap ton of damage and grab a crap ton of bloods and hides from whatever it is that you kill. 
So guys, let's move on to number three on the list. Now guys, coming in at number three, we have the Corrupted Ascended Celestial Rex. Yeah, I know, that's a mouthful to take in. Now, this guy is going to be your go-to for harvesting meat, for harvesting hide. He will just grab a crap ton of it. Now, as you can see, his damage is 197,000. So it's, uh, it's a tad bit on the powerful side, as you can obviously guess. But this guy will be able to gather whatever you need in terms of pelts, in terms of hides, in terms of meats. You name it, this guy can grab it. As well as that, he's also really good for going about gathering uh, toxic blood and toxic hide and stuff like that. You can see there, 73 toxic blood, 158 toxic hide. Now, this guy is very, very end game tier. And like, you will need to find one of these big boys, ascend him, and then you will need to feed him a corruption nodule thing to make him corrupted. But these guys are one of the hardest hitting dinosaurs in the Primal Fear mod. They don't get much stronger than the Corrupted Celestial Ascended Rex. So it's definitely a worthy investment, and these guys can run around just grab hide, grab fabled hide, grab bloods, you name it, they can grab it with relative ease. Now obviously if you've got your, spo uh, your clamped, um, not clamped spoiling times, your clamped harvest resources, you might run into a little bit of a trouble where you don't get as much as you'd expect, but you can turn that off to boost the amount you get by a huge amount. As well as that, this guy will literally contend with most things in the Primal Fear mod. So it's definitely worth investing in one of these guys, and I'd heavily recommend it. But guys, let's move on to number two on the list. Now guys, coming in at number two, uh, we have the Buffoon Megatherium. This guy, hands down, is probably one of my favorite gatherers to just run around on. He's really good for gathering thatch, really good for gathering fiber, even berries. As well as that, he's also really good for gathering a crap ton of chitin. And if you're playing on certain maps that don't have the beaver spawns, like Olympus don't have too many beaver spawns, same go for like Crystal Isles, then this guy is godlike for farming chitin. Especially if you find a cave that's full of all the insects and whatnot, this guy can absolutely demolish them and gather a whole heap of chitin and whatnot. As well as that, he does still get the bug buff. You can see we've got a bunch of scorpions in front of us. We're just going to melt them all. And look at that chitin come in. 8,000 chitin just like that. This guy is absolutely nuts. He's able to gather a crap ton of thatch as well. You can see there, we're grabbing it like crazy. It also depends on the type of trees you harvest as well. Some actually give less than others. For example, this one here will give us about 2,000. Whereas those other ones that we were just running through gave us a lot less. You can see there, 1,800. So the Megatherium, well the Buffoon Megatherium I should be saying, is well worth it and you guys need to have one of these. Even if you don't use him, even if you just look at him. Look how incredible this guy looks. Come on, you, you can't go wrong. He's got a volcano on his freaking back that you can shoot fire out of. I love me the Buffoon Megatherium. I think he's one of the coolest dinos. And uh, yeah, he definitely deserves his number two spot. So let's move on to number one guys. Alrighty guys, and finally coming in at number one, we have the Pegasus. Now, if you guys have been a fan of the channel and you've seen our playthrough, these guys are absolutely crazy when it comes to grabbing resources. Like, look at this, ready? Boom, look at all those berries, ready? Look at this, ready? Hold on, here we go. If it's gonna work, here we go. Takes a second, a thousand stone, just like that. We're gonna pop it again. Come on, little Pegasus, do it again for me. Look at that, 1100 stone. Now this also works with metal. This literally works on any resource in the game. It's incredible. You can get wood. You can get thatch. Now, I would have gotten a lot more if I didn't actually run through it first. But let's let's come over here. As well as that, if you're sprinting on the back of a Pegasus and you run through stuff, you just automatically demolish it as well. Which is really great for just getting out of those sticky situations that you find yourself in. It's really handy. Like, you can see we're not even harvesting this stuff. And we're just plowing right through it as well as that these guys can be used to harvest um dinos and stuff like that as well like you can easily kill dinos with these guys they also have a primary attack that you can use to harvest berries and whatnot but these guys are just so much fun look at this look at all the stone i love using these guys you can use these guys for silica pearls for metal as well look we've got some metal nodes down here we'll grab these i mean as soon as we actually hit the metal and not the stone so you can see here that we've got this juicy metal node. Look at that. Boom. 576 metal. Easy. Just like that. As well as a whole ton of berries that we didn't need. But, you know, hey, they're in the area. We got them. Now, what's really cool as well about these Pegasus is, is once you actually get them to 250 kills as well, they can then ascend into a Divine Pegasus or a Fallen Pegasus. 
And these dudes look absolutely dope. And they're just as strong. Sorry, they're actually stronger than the standard Pegasus. So these guys are absolutely crazy. And I love just going around and bloody harvesting everything with them. You can see here, that's what the Divine Pegasus looks like. It looks hecka cool. Now we can tame it. So yeah, these guys have an upgraded version and they can just plow through everything. It's so glorious. And they can still go about harvesting metal, still go about harvesting everything that the normal Pegasus can do, but they're just powerful and they do it better. So it's really good. But guys, it's going to wrap up the video for today. That's enough about me going on about the Pegasus. I just really like this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. If you, if you found it useful, definitely leave a like. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. But other than that, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soda.